All right, how's it going? Um, today I'm working on my BMW E36 328i. Um, what I started out first is I want to show you guys how to remove the AC belt down in there as well as the serpentine belt. As you can see I took out the intake box out here, take out the panel over here and you should be able to take out the air duct that goes to your alternator over here. Um, that's fairly simple. What you're going to do next once you've got everything over here cleared out is you want to make sure that you have an 8 millimeter hex key. This is what I used. Um, pretty much this goes in here. That goes in there. This is my old um, pulley right here. Um, took this out using an 8 mil hex key. Um, and then what I did was you could actually, what I found out is you could actually use the bolt on the tensioner as well as a way to compress this. You're just going to have to take, uh, I believe this is a 13. Let's see. Yeah, that's a 13 socket. And what you're going to do is you put this in there. And you're going to pull down on this. And what's going to happen is that's going to compress this thing. And you should be able to take out your um, AC belt. Now... Before you start taking things out, you want to make sure that you know how to put things back together. And I drew a rough diagram pretty much of the belt pattern over here. I'm not sure if you're going to understand that, but basically this is the tensioner itself or the tensioner pulley, right? That's going to be this tensioner pulley. And the belt would actually go on top of it, go to your crankshaft. That's your crankshaft pulley right there. I think this is the water pump. Um, anyway, so tensioner pulley, your belt goes on top of it. So you see, if you pull down on the pulley or the tensioner itself, you're going to be able to relieve the tension over here. And that would allow you to slide the belt out of your AC pulley or either your engine crankshaft um, pulley or whatever you call it so yeah uh, you, you want to pull down on the tensioner and you slide out the AC belt um, I'm gonna show you right now how that's gonna look like underneath here turn on the light and I've taken out a lot of stuff out of this but pretty much um, your pulley is going to go over here. Hold on. Let me try to look for something over here. Uh, probably just edit this out if I don't become lazy. Then you guys are just going to be watching me shuffle around trying to look for something. Okay. Uh, let's see. So the pulley would go over here on this hole. And basically this is the arm where it's going to move. So, uh, let's see. So, okay. So you have the pulley on top over there. And the, the tensioner is going to go on this bolt right here. And the other one's going to go at the bottom down over here. Now, when you take out, I would recommend that you replace the tensioner and the pulley every so often miles. Mine wasn't really good anymore, so I decided to take it out. Um, when you put the 8 mil hex key or the hex wrench over here, you're going to pull it down over here and that's going to relieve the tension on the tensioner and you're going to be able to slide out the the 
the belt out of this first ring over here where your AC belt sits and your AC belt or the AC pulley itself is going to be over here. Um, now for the serpentine belt it's a lot more complicated to take this one out I would say because you have a bigger pattern to follow pretty much um, your engine crankshaft over here um, from here it'll go to your um, power steering pump over here go on top to the alternator over there let me uh, I'm gonna shuffle around on top later and show you where the alternator would go and then from the alternator it would go over to the water pump that's the farthest one over there all the way to the left of the video and before it comes down back to the engine it'll loop back over to the tensioner pulley over there so let's go back on top and see um, how you guys could get a better idea on how to take this out so this is the alternator like I said it'll go from the power steering down here up to the alternator after the alternator it's gonna go to the fan here before it comes back down to the engine over here it'll loop from underneath the the water pump it'll go up or uh, go go towards here to the pulley itself loop down there and then that keeps the tension between your pulley and the serpentine belt because it's pretty much sandwiched between everything there um yeah uh, I don't like the sound of my um, alternator. I might have to look into that. But there you go. That's how you take it out. Um, for your pulleys, this one's really free, like so. You don't really want that. I have a new tensioner for my serpentine belt, and as you can see, it's not free to rotate by itself, it just kind of stops itself. And you can see that over here on this other one. This is like a fidget spinner where it's just rotating, rotating by itself freely. And I have the new one, it's pretty, um, it's a lot tighter, so you don't really see it free, rotating freely by itself. And when you take out the when you take out that pulley, there's going to be a, this is the back side of it. You're going to be able to take out this thing that would sit in there. And pretty much the 8 mil would go in there like so. So yeah, make sure to use um, metric hex wrenches. Otherwise, you're going to risk of stripping out the bolt and it's going to be a pain in the ass to take everything out and you know take some time to draw out study the pattern of the whole belt itself because you're gonna mess a lot of things if you don't put it back together the right way saves you a lot of time too so there you go enjoy